Welcome to Elite Coaching. I'm Michelle Tracy, here with my sister Christy Tracy, and we're going to go over some Elite Coaching cardio guidelines. In your packet that all of you have, um, there are a few things that we need to go over as far as what heart rate ranges to stay within when it comes to cardio. Make sure that you're asking your coach if your heart rate's out of those ranges or below those ranges. We give you some high intensity cardio programs and we also give you some lower intensity cardio programs. Both are equally as important. So make sure you're ma making sure that you're asking your coach if you have any questions about that. Cardio should be done first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. That is to, to, to ensure that you dip into your fat stores as quick as you possibly can. Um, something, music is always a great way to motivate yourself. Also, cardio should be done with a weight belt around your stomach. Now, the weight belt is something that, or I'm sorry, not a weight belt, it's a, it's a compression belt. A compression belt is something that is um, just wrapped around your stomach. It should be against your skin. Um, some girls get confused about that. It should be against your skin. It will make you sweat. So those of you girls that live in like Arizona or here in Kansas, when it's really hot and humid, just be aware it will make you sweat even more. Um, so it should be against your skin, buy them at Walmart, Target. Um, they're about five, ten bucks, really cheap. Buy a couple to have in your gym bag so you can wash them readily as well. You can cut these to make them fit you a little bit better. FYI, it's a good little tip. Also something that we always recommend for girls is a heart rate monitor. They, these can be bought in, I believe, at Target has them, Kmart has them, and I believe Walmart even carries them now. It should, the strap should go inside against your chest, right underneath your bra strap, and it also should have a wristwatch to wear so you can monitor your heart rate at all times because your coach may tell you, I want your heart rate between two certain zones at this cardio and then not so on, on other cardio. So just make sure you ask your coach. Some other tips that we have, if you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, because we train all walks of life. So I'm talking to everyone out there. If you're a beginner person and you get a cardio plan that overwhelms you, take one day at a time. You will get there. It may be challenging, but you know what? That's our job is to challenge you. So make sure that you're, you're progressing nicely. If you still don't feel like you can, by the end of the four weeks, you should be able to make sure that that cardio plan can be done to its fullest. If it's a 45 minute plan, it can get be done in 45 minutes. So make sure that you're asking your coach for questions if you're unsure as to how long it's taking you to finish your cardio. Something else I wanna to touch on, we already have touched on um, supplements in a different video. However, supplementation is important when it comes to cardio. Um, we, re we prefer girls to do a thermogenics before they start their cardio in the morning to give you that little extra edge. Because thermogenics aren't a miracle pill by any means, there is no such thing. However, they can aid you in pushing yourself a little bit harder when you're ready to kind of throw in the towel, if you know what I mean. So I think that's about all. Um, in the meantime, we'll see you soon, and happy training.